Hello Manjaro community, my name is Philip Miller, I'm the lead developer of this distribution and our today's topic would be PAMAC, in particular the upcoming version 7.3. We added new features which I will show you in this video. First we have a new shell extension called uh, PAMAC update. It will show you if uh, there are any updates and uh, explain what you can do with them. If not, you can simply launch a PAMAC itself. Let's do a quick run through to this application. We have here a list of all the packages. On the left hand side, we have uh, categories, groups, repositories, installs, and updates. And if you have some pending actions, it will be listed there. So let's go uh, quickly through uh, the categories. In this uh, option, we list all the packages sorted by categories like audio video or education, games, graphics, and so on. If you want to know more about a particular application which we have here, you can simply click on the application and it will display everything what we know about this application, present you a screenshot, give you the options to click on uh, the home page itself, where you get further information, for example, in this case, a Digicam. So we have here a Firefox open and it leads you to uh, this particular homepage to know more about uh, what is Digicam about. We also have here the list of all the dependencies you need to install as well. And in this case, we will list even the packages or in this the files we will install when you want to install that package. And this you can do simply by going on here, uh, click on install, and you see here it's uh, now one depending operations. If you click back, we also uh, list all the packages in groups. So for example, if you want to know what are Debian packages, click on Debian and all the Debian packages will be listed there. And we have repositories like the core repository, the extra repository, community repository. All those packages belong to those uh, particular repositories will be found here. And since we have clicked on uh, the Digicam, it will be listed in the pending section. If you don't want it, you can simply unmark it and that's it. Let's go uh, to uh, the search function. So we have two search functions. For example, if you are in PAMAC and you want to know if GIMP is installed, simply start typing and uh, it will list you GIMP. If you have the AUR enabled, you can click on this uh, left hand side and you can see all the packages available in the AUR. So for this particular version of PAMAC, we added a NASA uh, shell extension. So we are now here in a GNOME version of Manjaro. And if I type in GIMP, which is not installed on this machine, it will automatically guide you here and says, hey guys, you don't have it installed. You click on here, for example, GIMP. It switches directly to the PAMAC install, click on install. And again, you have one pending operation. You click on apply, it's preparing. It shows you, hey guys, we want to install the GIMP. You click on commit, write once your password and it will install GIMP like that. So it's finished. If you go back to activities and we type in GIMP again, it is listed. So we have installed the GIMP. And again, if you want to have more, you can install that as well. So uh, let's move on. When you want to refresh your databases, you click, uh, you click on refresh and all the files are listed. If you want to know what we did so far, you can click on a PAMAC history and all the packages and all what you did is listed there. 
Well, we can uh, click on preferences and configure PAMAC a little bit more. So what we added is uh, you can check for the availability of the disk space. We can add or lower uh, maximum parallel downloads. So this is useful if you have a fast internet connection. We can enable or disable checking for updates. We can automatically download updates in the background. And if you have then time to install them, we'll notify you and uh, install at the pace and time you want to have it. You can also unhide or hide the try icon. If you don't want to see that all the time, it will be away on your view, but will pop up automatically if you have an update. So you're not disturbed and you can keep your uh, bar less complex. We have here the official repositories. You can there choose from which mirror you wanna uh, have uh, the packages loaded. So since I'm in Germany based, I have Germany selected. You simply click on refresh mirrors and it will list and get uh, all uh, the available mirror lists from uh, our German mirrors. If you go on the AUR, you can here enable or disable. So we can check for updates. We can even check for development packages. Most people should disable this option. For the build directory, well, you can see here we have several options available. Most likely you use the temp directory or even put in a separate uh, directory you want to have to build your packages in. So let's do a build of a package. So we want to have something which is not installed Let's go for a um, design. Let's say vertex is the theme we already know. So we use it here. We can simply click on apply and it will list you, hey, this has to be built. This is not there, it is in the AUR. If you want to look at the files, what you're not sure what is going on, you can click on edit build files. In this case, we have the package build. You can review it before you do anything to it. You click on save if you're satisfied. Click on commit and uh, it will build uh, then the vertex theme for you, as you can see here. So this is what we did so far from the UI point of view of PAMAC. What we already released in version 18 of Manjaro is the CLI UI. So many people will notice or know, for example, Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the go-to uh, application if you want to install packages in the CLI or in a terminal, or if you have no UI, available, it's crashed, you have to have some package manager you can relate on, it doesn't need X and start simply. So everybody knows, for example, Pacman SU, which is the standard uh, application if you want to search for updates and upgrade your system. As you can see here, I can't do it with my regular account. I have to be root. So for the a case we can use sudo yeah the ask for me for my password and then it refresh everything and tells me hey there is some application or I can now uh, update the vertex team with our community let's do that or do it not because we can do the same thing also with uh, PAMAC so if you type in PAMAC we have similar options. So in this case, we want to update or upgrade our system. And it will automatically ask for our password. So we don't have to use sudo. If you like to use sudo, you can do that as well. So it will refresh the databases and also tell us, hey guys, we have a vertex theme here, which is newer and you can uh, automatically remove uh, what you see here. So let's do that. 
it removes uh, our build from the AUR and replace it with uh, the one we have installed in our repo. What else can we do with PAMAC in the CLI? We can check for updates. Our system is currently refreshed, no updates available. We can search. So let's search for the GIMP. So here we have all the things. We even have the AUR listed there, since we have it enabled. And we have our community packages listed as well. So we can remove the Vertex team. And let's build it from the AUR, which is like PAMAC, build, vertex team. So you want to do that, edit. Yes, we want to edit the build files. It will present you nano. And here we can simply edit or review how uh, the package build file is there. Since we don't have to edit anything, we can uh, simply start committing to that build. And as you can see here, it will build the Vertex theme similar as we already did with uh, the UI version of PAMAC. Here we go. What else we have? For example, if you want to list or show the information of one particular package, we can say, so we have here the information listed, what is GIMP about. And if you want to list the files, we can do it like this and all the included files of the GIMP package would be listed. What else we have? We can simply install a package. Let's say GIMP. GIMP is already installed. So let's go for GIMP GTK3. And it will show you, hey guys, this is available and we have to remove uh, the GIMP. And again, we type in our password. It will download the packages and install them. And now we have the GTK3 version of the GIMP. Also, what we can do is to reinstall a package. So let's do that again. Yes, we want to do that. And here we go. We reinstall the GIMP package we already did now. If you want to know more about a particular version or function of PAMAC, let's go for the PAMAC list option. You simply write in uh, list H for the help. And as you can see here, it shows you all the options which are available for that particular command. So that's it for the PAMAC update, which will upcome soon. You can already install it from our testing branch. Tell us what you would think about that function. See you soon.